network. So that's why we need to match on that interface as well. So now if I do a show route map, connected in OSPF, you can see here that we are matching either interface loopback 11 or fast season at 0, 01. If I go to router 1 now and I do a show IP route, now we can see here that we are now bringing in the EIGRP learned route or the 23 network. So let's go back to router 2 and we'll go under route map connected to EIGRP then we'll also match interface fast ethernet 00 and in this case when we redistributed the OSPF routes into EIGRP router 2 also redistributed in the background the process the 12 network which is again if we were to do a show IP protocols within OSPF we see that the 12 network is one of the networks we were routing for so very important to realize that what's going on here so that's why we want to match that interface as well under this route map. So now we can see both the loopback 33 and the fast user at 00 are being redistributed from being connected interfaces into EIGRP. So now if I go back to router 3, if I do a show IP route, now we can see the 12 network again. And let's go ahead and try to ping now. And now you can see here we have connectivity again using the exit interface as the um, as the source of our pings here and then so let's go on to router 1 we'll go ahead and try to ping the 3 network 3.3.1.1 and now you can see we have connectivity as well using you know, router one's fast either at zero zero as the source of the pings here. So again in this video we have gone over a lot within redistribution. We we took a look at how to do redistribution between EIGRP and OSPF. We looked at, you know, OSPF external type two as being the default metric that so these routes are coming in as external type 2 OSPF from EIGRP again external type 2 is just saying that from router to router the metric is not going to change we can change that of course by putting in a metric uh, you know the ex changing the metric type to external type 1 then also we went over here to you know the EIGRP process and saw the OSPF routes coming in as external with a default administrative distance of 170. Then we also finished up this lab with explaining and showing you how the redistribution process can get broken if we're not careful and we also explained you know a very important process that happens in the background of redistribution 
in which a lot of people don't know about what happens. And that is, of course, within redistribution, not only, you know, in this case, I'll just explain it one more time here, for router one's perspective, when we redistribute EIGRP and OSPF, not only are the OSPF learned routes on router two being advertised into, I'm sorry, the EIGRP learn routes being advertised into OSPF as external type two, but we are, however, also seeing the routes that are connected via EIGRP using, you know, the network statement. Again, on router two, if I do a show IP protocols here, and if I look at this EIGRP, you can see here that we're seeing the 23 network that we're routing for. So again, not only is the router pulling in the OSPF learn routes, I'm sorry, the EIGRP learn routes into OSPF, but it's also pulling in the networks in which EIGRP is advertising for, which in this case is the 23 network. And that's why on router one, we're seeing that as OSPF external type two. And then again, the reverse case here with OSPF, you know, when we're advertising or redistributing OSPF in the EIGRP, not only is router two bringing in the OSPF learned routes, but it's also bringing in the network that it's advertising OSPF on here, which is the 12 network. And that's why in router three, we can see the 12 network here as being external. And then of course the last thing we did here is we went in and and we redistributed these connected interfaces into, you know, OSPF and EIGRP and we matched, you know, in um, matched based on the interface and we saw here how the redistribution process was broken. So again, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I hope you'll be with me with the next one.